Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Flovers. Happy Friday. You know what that means? It's from his Friday. Um, today, we're doing the nine way ticket little single that they released as part of their, I think, final release as part of OTR. And uh, I'm tremendously excited for it. I'm, I always love Friday, these Friday videos we do with Promise 9, because I don't know if you could tell, but I've kind of fallen head over heels with this group. So, I am so excited to listen to this album properly, because I love Airplane Mode. It was one of the, like the first two songs I ever heard from Promise 9. We Go is a really good title track, and to my knowledge, I don't think I've heard Promise yet. So I'm just ex tremendously excited to be able to, like, one, experience these songs again, but also learn some new stuff. So, here we go. Now, this is going to be scuffed. As you can see, we're on Spotify. Um, the reason for that is I could not find any reliable lyric videos for airplane mode. Now, you're wondering like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. You have no idea. It t These last two days have been such a pain in the backside for me when it comes to lyric videos. Like, it started with B the B2B request we did yesterday that had an extremely incorrect lyric video. And then I tried to record uh, Kepler's Together Forever earlier today. Again, very incorrect lyric video on my first recording. I've noticed, like, halfway through, and it's like, this isn't right. I checked in, of course, it's incorrect, so I had to go and find another one, and it's just been such a pain in the keister to try and get reliable lyrics in. And with Fromis 9's airplane mode, there's a few lyric videos out and about. But either they are incorrect, or the ones that are correct are ones that the creator rather not have people, like, share out. Because for airplane mode, the reliable one that I could find was on Random K. If, and if you know Random K, they do like line distribution videos and things like that. And they are a reliable source when it comes to like K-pop lyrics and things like that. And it's a shame that this is the only version of it that I can really trust at the moment. Which sucks. Sucks more for you guys. because You guys don't get a visual for this song. Uh, for We Go and for Promise, we do have actual, like, reliable color-coded lyrics from Zati Farani and Kyungo, respectively. So, that's a little breath of fresh air for me. But, in the meantime, we're just gonna go over to Random K and just deal with it as it is. So, I apologize in advance. I know they have a special video for it, but it's in it's a 360 video, and I just cannot be scrolling back and forth i don't want to make you the viewer motion sick either from my like dragging around and things like that so um did have another thing i wanted to say what was it oh yeah so i was doing these from us fridays uh in with the intention that you know we'd be caught up with the discography before their album release at the middle of the month it is well currently the middle of the month and we have not heard a single peep about what this album is going to be like, we haven't had uh, any, like, track lists or album teasers or even concept photos that have been released, to my knowledge. And it's, like, it's the middle of March and we haven't heard anything from it. And this was supposed to be the last week we did From Us Fridays. But since there hasn't been a single announcement for it, I'm only going to do the one today. And I'll push Midnight Guest to next week, because I think I'll have time like, I think the album won't be out by then, which is kind of unfortunate because I was really excited for that all month. So we're going to push Midnight Guest to next week. That also does leave the question, do you want me to listen to From Our Memento Box? Because I know that album very well, but I've never watched it here on the internet before. So if you want me to, let me know. If you don't care if I watch it or not, then let me know as well, just... That'll kind of help planning and say, like, the album gets announced next week or something. We can just pop it into next week's From Us, is Fri From Us Friday alongside the Midnight Guest EP. So that's what we'll do. This is extremely scuffed. But we move. From Us 9's airplane mode. You won't see anything moving on your screen, but I will. So here we go. Go, one and the 
this is such a soft song. And it's such a nice way to start the album. I love this chorus so much, the way the bass kicks in and it's lower in the vocal register. Oh, and Jihon and Cutie on this chorus absolutely own it. And then you pair it with Hyung and Jiwon in the second half of the chorus. This chorus, it's so good. Oh, that one little hit of slap bass. Nice. Oh. Again, it's the fact that this song relies so heavily on both low and high vocal registers is so satisfying to listen to. And I love that. With this chorus now, they've Jiwon and Hyung swapped roles back and forth. It's just Jiwon and Hyung, if you put their voices together, has very different vocal color, but they both fulfill the role of the main vocal in the group in a way. And they're both singing the high part of the song, especially on the first and final choruses. And so it's like you're listening to it, and you hear the same voices, but they're singing different parts now. And your brain just automatically goes, wait, hold on, this is this is a little bit different. I really like that. And it's just musical satisfaction. Here it's like two sides of the same coin, heads and tails, it's just the rules are reversed in the final chorus. And I think it's so good. This song is so good. I love this song so much. Oh my goodness. And I didn't realize until now, but underrated vocalist with this, this song? Gromse kinda kills this. Like Serong has a very interesting voice in that her vocal tone and her like very unique vocal color comes out more with the more power she puts behind her voice. And it's like if you've listened to the later title tracks that From Us 9 have done, you'll notice it a lot more. But Serong, as her voice has like matured ever since debuted, her distinct vocal color only affects a certain range within her voice. And with airplane mode, that like unique kind of like powerful vocal tone that Serum has doesn't really get used in a way. And sometimes if you have a really like clear vocal color on a like high energy pop song, it tends to stick out sometimes. But with Serum in airplane mode, her voice just blends in with the song so well. It fits so well, like the kind of like gentler, almost like whispering lower tones that she has. It just fits so well. 
And then MVPs, Giri and Jihon. Oh my goodness, the way they sing that first chorus, the Ganira Air play mode. Like, hold on, I'm gonna go back to it if I can find it. It's so gentle the way Goody just rides in on this chorus. And then again, Jihon just... Both Jihon and Kyuri understand like the gentle nature of this chorus and how it starts, and they absolutely nail it. I love this song, man. This one, like, for me, airplane mode is going to be a tough B side to top, just in general for me. It's because I've I've loved the song for so long. I've loved it ever since it's been out. For some reason. Didn't really listen to We Go that much, but I, I listened to this. I binged the heck out of this. And it's such a nice, calming song, especially in a time where this was, you know, peak lockdown. And, like, we were all stuck in our homes looking at stuff on our phones and on our computer screens and things like that. And it's just... Oh, there's something so healing and so gentle about this song that I just can't really describe... But it's such a good song, and I will forever adore and cherish this song. But that's not for this. We have We Go, and we have actual lyric videos. So give me two secs while I change OBS screens, and we'll be right back. And we have returned to actual lyric videos. Welcome back, everybody. You, you can actually use your eyeballs now. Zati Farani's lyric videos are, again, also another one of the highly respected color-coded lyric video uh, content creators on the platform they cover essentially the title tracks for every single major release that drops and they've been doing it for so long and they're extremely reputable and if there's ever a correction it's made super quick or it's like indicated really quickly and it's just a very reliable source and i can't thank them enough because Lord knows I have gotten gray hairs from trying to find good lyric videos this week, but that's besides the point. Here we go, we go! The way Soyeon's got that rhythm, like syncopated rhythm in her verse, it's so nicely because it breaks standard meter in the song. With this chorus, like, with the post-chorus for this song, you can hear Sinem's, like, vocal a little bit more, and how it definitely stands out amongst the rest. Like, there's a very distinct, like, little squeak to, like, in Japanese we call it kse, but there's no real, like, English word for it. Also, that one, two, Chang and Soyeon rap verse, God, I never realized how good the baseline for this song is. Oh my god. Oh, 
that one little one beat pause so important Oh yes, oh yes. I don't, I still to this day don't know why I didn't listen to the song. Something, I don't, I don't know. Because I've had airplane mode playlisted for the longest of times, but I never listened to We Go. Weird how the human brain works sometimes, especially mine, but... Ooh, this song is so good. Like, there's something inherently, like... I think the context of when it was released is a big, big part of why I love this song so much, and the fact that this was, like a COVID song because it just feels so happy and it's so bright and it feels it takes you on an adventure and it's an adventure that we physically couldn't go on and like through the song it almost feels like the actual meaning of the lyrics aside the song just feels like Fromus's way of saying hey we know you can't go anywhere right now that's okay you can hang out with us and just something so healing about even even airplane mode in a way it's just there's something so inherently healing about these two songs for me i don't know what it is specifically but it's oh i want to i want to point out a couple parts rom romse romse's voice is such a In, 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 in let me try that again such an enigma to me because I don't have the words to describe Serum's voice there's some it's like um I've mentioned this for a couple of groups before but Japanese female idols within the K industry if they're in a group setting oftentimes you can tell if that group member is Japanese based off of their vocal color and like very recently, we checked out the Lightsome B side "Good News" off of their um, the same album that Live was on. And if you like refer to the lyric videos or just lyrics and color coded lyrics in general, and listen to the song, you can immediately tell that if you know what you're looking for, is that Hina is Japanese, not because of her name, but because of her vocal tone is so different from everyone else's. And that's the same with a lot of Japanese female idols that are that are or were active in Korea. Take Nako from Eyes One, uh, Hina from Lightsome, Momo from Twice in a sense, uh, Tsuki from Billy. Like there's this inherent vocal trait that these female idols have in their tone that just can't be described using words without it sounding really offensive like i like to think of it as a d distinct like squeak to their tone but it that sounds so bad it sounds like i'm trashing their vocal tone and i'm not but there's no other way i can really describe it and if you listen to their songs or even if you want a more like little obscure example uh yuna from csr is the same way there's something so inherently different about their vocal color that can't be explained and within the context of From Us 9, Serum kind of has that very similar trait where her, like, higher, more powerful vocal tones has a very distinct something about her vocal color that makes it stand out from everyone else's. And it's most akin to, like, a distinct little squeak, but it's not a squeak, and I don't know the word for it. And, like, we'll play through it, so, like, you can understand what I'm talking about, but... Like, the first part, it's admittedly just her breathy tone, and I love her breathy tone. I think it sounds so... It's like... 
entrancing in a way, her breathy tone. But listen to the way she sings the Yogi Jogi Gogi right line. There's just something that changes about her voice from the rest of her lines. And it's... I don't know what it is. Let me know if you kind of understand where, what I'm trying to like explain or what I'm getting at. Because I don't want to... I hope I'm not sounding like a lunatic. And I hope that other people kind of like understand what I'm trying to say in a way. Because I'm not being very clear at all. But also, where is that rap part? Yeah, there it is. Wait, that's not it. It's there. That rap verse is so good. It's so good. It's so smooth. Soyeon rides that beat so well. Oh my gosh. Like, legitimately, Soyeon has been such a problem for me through this little Fromis adventure that, like, my, like, main bias within this group is Jisung. Just something about her, like, dorky, crackheaded nature, but also, like, she she is the one of the group parents, and I relate to that. Like, I tend to flock towards kind of dorky, like, group elders or group parents in a way. So, like, my main, like, bias duo was Jisun and Giri. Fortunately, Giri is no longer within the group, and that makes me very sad indeed. And then, like, Hyung... Hyung, like, on stage and, like, on the songs is insane. Like, especially since DM was, like, one of the first songs that, like, got me back into Fromis 9. Or, I guess, got me into Fromis 9 proper. You know, when when you hear Hyung going off on the whistle notes, you can't help but fall in love with her. But Soyeon has been such a problem for me. Like, her stuff, like, off stage and out of the al albums... She's such a dork, and she's her laugh is so precious, but then she gets in front of the mic or in front of the camera, and she does everything, and it's just, oh, man. Like, ultimately, at this point, it's just going to be another group that I'm going to OT fill in the blank, isn't it? Like, there's no getting out of it. I'm just going to fall in love with everybody. Great. Great. Kaya, look what you've done to me. Okay, final song. Promise. So an over on Kyomu's channel. Oh, we going all soft. Speaking of Sion being a problem, oh my god, her voice. Something about this just feels wintry. Sword on a Jihon? Okay. Damn, you made me spit out my water. Oh, 
again. Soyon, stop making my bias problem be a problem. <laughs> and there's that sit-on tone that I was talking about. Also, I feel like we haven't heard from Nako yet. That she won on the ad up there? Nice little pitch switch up in pace. I can dig it. I can dig it. It's like we got a little bit of a calm one to start it off, and then we kind of went all summery, and then you know bring it back a little bit wintry on the finish. I quite like that. Soyon, Yi Soyon, do you want to stop? Do you want to leave me alone, please? <laughs> I mean, I mean that in a good way. Let, let me clear that up. But. Oh my god, Soyeon, stop. Stop making my bias problem be a problem. She, her range is ridiculous. Like, in this song alone, her range is ridiculous. And she had the low tones of that, she had the high notes, and like, she can, she can do the whole breathy thing, but she can really put some sauce on the vocal runs one time, and it's just, oh my god. And then... Nako? Nako on the one line that she had throughout the song? She's got like a really rich tone on certain, like, given certain instrumentals and like certain paces and sounds and stuff like that. And it's really cool to listen to. Because I know, I feel like she's gotten... I don't know if it's the evolution of Fromus's sound that's affected this or not, but I feel like... nagyung has gotten less like... Kind of like shining vocal moments in the later albums. Or at least on the songs that we've checked out. I feel like her vocal talents haven't been like used as often as in the earlier stuff. And I don't know if that's just me, but... On Promise though, her voice works so well. It's so smooth. And then Serum, Serum doing the two voices thing again, where you got the really nice, airy Serum, and then you have the immediately identifiable, like, almost a little bit powerful Serum voice. So good, because, like, no one in the group can do that vocal color that she has. And it's so important to have, like, just the unique little bits and pieces here and there. Why didn't I... Why didn't I follow this group right now? Like, when this dropped. When I found out this group. Why? One of life's mysteries in the story of me, I guess. But, yeah, this was actually a really fun album. Even though it was a mini. It's just... There's a little bit of everything in this song, or not in the song, in the album. But the most important thing about this album is that it is a healing and it is a comforting album. All the songs feel comforting to the listener, at least for me. They all feel really comforting and it's really gentle, it's friendly. It's like, hey, we see you. We can't see you in person, but you're doing great, keep it up, or... If you aren't doing so hot, then let us help you, like, cheer up a little bit. It's just something so endearing about it that I can't really describe. 
kind of like the story of this album is things that I can't really describe using words, which is a bad look on me and probably means I need to read a little bit more, but... <sighs> From us nine. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you all for dealing with me um, rambling a lot. I feel like I had a lot more to say today, and I just have... I have so many frustrations with lyric videos this week that I just needed to rant about it, and uh, the unfortunate victims were you all, so uh, my bad. Um, but that's it for me today. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do with the other two remaining From Us albums. Of course, we have Midnight Guest, which uh, for sure I'm going to be watching or listening along to. I have found credible and reliable lyric videos for it, courtesy of Zali Farani, so we're going to be okay on that part. And, of course, From Our Memento Box is an album that I'm familiar with, but if you want me to listen along to it and just kind of, like, ramble over it again, much like we have been doing, I can do that as well. So, let me know what you want me to do. I'm going to keep my eyes out for any announcements about the From Us album, if it gets... Announced at like the very end of the month and we can try and cram it all next week if it isn't it gets pushed back to april or something like that we can plan accordingly but that's it for me today thank you all for watching if you did enjoy and want to see more channel icon is up there you can find the back catalog of stuff for watching in the past drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with one of our uploading new videos and if you want to watch another video of mine right away youtube recommends you watch that video down there and until next time bye bye